Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. We want to welcome you to another great, empowering episode here on Think Tech Hawaii. Today, in line with our mission to enrich, to enlighten, to educate, to entertain, and we hope to empower, we have with us one of the highest ranking of Filipino ancestry in the Army. And he had just been given a new position. Uh, let's welcome our powerful, influential guest for today, Brigadier General Roy Makaraeg. Welcome to Pinot Power Hawaii. Oh, thank you, Auntie Emmy. It's so awesome to uh, meet someone of your caliber. You know, it's not an everyday occurrence for me to meet someone that is uh, successful and have worked your way from the bottom up. So tell us about Roy Makaraeg. Oh, geez, where, where do I begin? Uh, um, we start from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. well, mm -hmm. you know, um, I, uh, I was born in the Philippines. Um, okay. Came to Hawaii when I was uh, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, grew up in Kalihi. Awesome. Uh, went to all public school. You know, I went to Kalihikai, Kalakaua. Mm -hmm. Graduated from uh, Farrington High School. Far governors. Uh, governors, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, 1991. Okay. And, um, you know, I... It, it all started there in um, I think in um, you know the Philippines and then mm -hmm. growing up in Kalihi okay. and uh, from there I joined the um, Hawaii Army National Guard that and was the stepping stone that was the career. stepping stone yes okay. let's yeah. backtrack just a little bit do you remember a little bit of your growing up in the Philippines because I remember a lot you know poverty and sure. the struggles can you yeah. tell us just a little bit about your parents sure uh, mm -hmm. so my mom was actually a teacher uh, second grade mm -hmm. teacher, I believe. Yeah, so she was a, a, a teacher and, um, you know, it's one of those uh, things I think I picked up, uh, you know, when I was young. Mm -hmm. Her being a teacher, I think, taught me how to, you know, be somebody who's always, you know, learning and the value of education. Right. So she's, um, she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. My dad, um, you know, growing up had, um, you know, Odd, had had odd jobs. odd jobs, yeah, and then when to he, support the family. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So um, we had, uh, you know, a total of six kids. You know, I was mm -hmm. number five out of six. Wow. Yes, yeah, big family. So you're uh, one of the youngest. Uh, one of the youngest. Okay. Yeah. Number five out of number six. Number five. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, poverty is always a part of the equation in our Filipino community. Sure. You know, before we realize, we come to uh, Hawaii or America to realize the American dream. Right. Um, did you have to worry about where your next meal is going to come from, especially from a family of, of six? Yeah. You know, grow, growing up, I, I saw my, you know, parents, mm -hmm. right, work hard, mm -hmm. you know, that work ethic, I think. You know, my dad, when um, we came here, he... Uh, he, uh, he worked for a uh, construction company, mm -hmm. and he was in construction. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, every, every day, just about every day, I see him coming home, you mm -hmm. know, tired, dusty, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it, it was, um, I think, early on in my life, I, I realized, you know, it's, it's hard, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's hard to, uh, you know, put it into perspective. But, you know, it, looking at it and reflecting on it now, mm -hmm. I think, you know, I contribute a lot of my successes, you know, in the, those early days. Because of one, struggles. Of the struggles. Right. Yeah. And it, it somehow, I think, mm -hmm. you know, not just me, but, you know, my, my siblings too. Correct. You know, it really forged our character, I think, uh -huh. in terms of just being resilient. Makes you stronger, yes, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. resiliency. Mm -hmm. So it built resiliency, you know, awesome. and, that, and that grit. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, to just do what you need to do to get things done, yeah. To pull yourself out of uh, the poverty because you don't want to yeah. repeat that pattern. I mean, you see that, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of, you know, a lot of things. My mom just mm -hmm. being, um, you know, an advocate for education, yes. her being a teacher, mm -hmm. that's one. You know, always improve yourself, right? And then my dad, just his work ethic, mm -hmm. I think really uh, forged, you know, my character, which is, Perfectly in line with, you know, what I had to do so that I can be successful. What an awesome combination. 
to uh, have a mother who is a role model, a teacher, an educator, uh, want to uh, really instill values and also the foundation of a good home. Yes. And a father who never ceased to provide for yes. a big family yes. and uh, continually serves as a great um, paternal yeah. figure. I mean, you, you, you imagine, you know, six kids, mm -hmm. right? You know, I have one daughter and, uh, you know, I, I still can't believe how they did it. Uh -huh. know, just providing for six to kids. To provide, yeah. right? I think it's incredible. Awesome story. Um, you know, I'm trying to relate to your story, too, because as a young kid, I came to Hawaii when I was nine, and I went through the struggles of trying to blend in, trying to belong. Sure. Yeah. Uh, were you bullied? Um, no, not, not necessarily. Not really? No, not okay. necessarily. Yeah. Oh, okay, probably because you had brothers and sisters as a protector. Yeah. And, and as a younger a sibling. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, just growing up, um, I think I, it was easy for me to make friends, friends. like a lot of friends. Uh -huh. So um, you were not intimidating. No, okay. it, you know I, I, I think it, you know I kind of look at it now as you know people tell me I'm a people person. Uh -huh. So I talk to people, I make friends um, really quickly. So um, I think it, yeah, I, I had happy memories of just growing up. You probably get the congeniality award all the time, right? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> 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 okay, wow, this, this is uh, so awesome to have a conversation uh, with you, and I'm sure that uh, your parents are very, very proud of yeah. your accomplishment and your achievements. Uh, tell us about the other siblings. The, uh, did they follow the same um, you know, success or climbing yeah. the ladder? Um, so, you know, my, my two brothers mm -hmm. actually joined the military too. Okay. Uh, one in um, the Air Force and one in the Army. Mm -hmm. They went to active duty before, and then they actually, uh, you know, came, came back home after their first uh, term mm -hmm. and went back to the University of Hawaii, got their education. Oh, okay. Um, so one is living in Maui. Mm -hmm. uh, one is living in Kaneohe. Mm -hmm. And I got my sisters. Um, you know, they're, they're doing all well. That is so awesome to come from a family of six and to see all uh, the children um, doing so well. Yeah. Yeah. Your parents should get the Parents of the Year award. Yeah, they're oh. they're very proud. I think um, you know, growing up, just just growing up, mm -hmm. you know, in Kalihi, um, I look back now. There's, you know, you probably look at you know some of the things that you you could have easily stepped on a landmine, right? You mm -hmm. know, just going through. But I think. You know the the family values, the mm -hmm. foundational values that mm -hmm, they set mm -hmm. forth um, in terms of you know just making the right decisions as mm -hmm. you're growing up. You so, know. aside from uh, a strong parental support from both mom and dad, uh, who was the one that is most influential that uh, you could you know call out? Oh gosh, um, you know the great leader. It's or, uh, so. Um, you know, I, I met amazing people along the way mm -hmm. in my in my journey, in my my career, my life, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I I I tell people I collect people. Oh, you collect. Know, I collect people, uh -huh. um, good people. Yes. Uh, good people, and I put this, uh, you know, I put them in a in a place I call the the golden sphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this golden sphere is mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the people. That I collect, mm -hmm. you know, the people that actually makes me a better person. Yes. Right. So along the way, you meet all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. Now it's not a circle. I, you know, it's a sphere. Uh -huh. I, I believe, you know, I can learn from anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, subordinates, um, peers, um, you know, superiors, mm -hmm. or anybody that you meet. You know, along right. the way. So I, I can't name like a single One person. One specific person. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I do. You know, in mm -hmm. my golden sphere, mm -hmm. right? You know, type I of collection. Collect, yes. And I, I take the good, uh -huh. I take the good, all the good from all these people mm -hmm. to make me a better person. So it's always, you know. Um, positive. Yeah, it's always positive. Yeah. That is so wonderful because uh, growing up, I also had this imaginary, uh, I didn't call it a sphere. I call it a lot, uh, a lot, a lot. In Ilocano, a lot, they, they, um, uh, something that a fisherman would use to collect all his uh, catches for the day. Yeah. 
And uh, is, it, is that the basket? The, the basket, yeah. the basket. Yeah. and it has a cover. Right. And uh, in the cover, there's an opening mm -hmm. that they you can put things in there, right. but they, but can they come can't out, escape. Right? Yeah. Yes. yeah, I've, I've seen uh -huh. those. Yeah, yeah. So you can relate to that. Yes. And uh, that's the way I've kind of treasured uh, people that are influential in my life, positive ones. Yes, positive yeah. ones. So yeah. I can relate to your story, except yours a little bit more classy. Yeah. It's golden <laughs> the sphere. golden sphere. The golden sphere. That is that is so awesome and. Uh, you know, I uh, really um, salute put people like you in a pedestal uh, because you could have been, you could have gone astray and chosen the uh, other path, but in your case, you managed to choose the straight and narrow path, which uh, brought you to this very successful career. And uh, we, we want to uh, elaborate more about that on uh, the second half of our uh, show but uh, for now let's focus on the training uh, education uh, and uh, things along the way that you focus on that help you get to where you are today like involvement or uh, yeah. organizations or clubs tell us a little bit more about those okay one of the main reasons why i joined the mm -hmm. military was because I, I wanted to get an education. And, um, you mm -hmm. know, five, number five out of six kids, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know mom and dad didn't have the money to support, right? So um, the military was a way for me to actually pay for college. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that, you know, starting that journey, I, I sit here mm -hmm. and actually, you know, and tell you, I can tell you that I have, you know, a uh, associate's degree, one bachelor's degree, and I got two masters mm -hmm. out of it. So. Awesome. It, it, it worked out for me. So uh -huh. I tell, you know, I tell, I tell my niece and nephews mm -hmm. and young people, you know, graduating from high school, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't know what you're going to do after high school, mm -hmm. you know, military could be a way, you know. That was a ticket. Yeah, that was a mm -hmm. ticket. I mean, if you look at it now, the, mm -hmm. the benefits that the military actually provide, I mean, it's, it's incredible, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you get paid. Um, they, you know, they give you uniform to wear. Mm -hmm. they, they give you a place to live. And uh, they provide benefits so that you can actually get your, you know, education. Right. Yeah. So I, I and mean, the lifetime training. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And a, a lot of my niece and nephews are, you know, also mm -hmm. joined the military. Um, so I, I tell young people, if you don't know what you, you know, what what you're gonna do, um, you know, join the military. It's mm -hmm. a way till you figure things out. Mm -hmm. You know, because after high school, you you know, you. You graduate and you go, okay, what now, right? A lot of people just yeah, don't know no, uh, they don't what know. path to follow. But that, mm -hmm. that thinking, you know, that conversation with people mm -hmm. or, you know, planning things out, that starts probably like two years out before you graduate, right? Wow, I, I really couldn't stress the importance of education, but yeah. in, your, in your life, you got it. Yeah. You caught on. So yes. uh, the efforts, the constant reminder from your mama, to yes. tell you that, oh, important is the education, anak. Uh, sige na, kailangan na uh, gawin natin uh, yes. uh, ito parang mag-successful natin. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. It's not, it's uh -huh. not just the degree, too. Uh -huh. it's, it's the continual learning throughout your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you continue to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, even, even, you know, even, even now, I, mm -hmm. you know, I read books. I, I read a lot of books. And that's one of the things that my mom, I think, gave mm -hmm. me as a gift. You know, reading. She passed that on as an yeah, educator. I, I love reading. I just love reading. I read a lot of books. Uh -huh. I read a lot of things. Well, that gives you the yeah. edge, you know, yeah. because when you read, it's just like going through that adventure. But you don't have to be in, a, in, in the actual place. Yes. But you can read about it and experience it. Yeah. And yeah. it, it sharp, sharpens your, your mind, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of just, you know, critical thinking. Because mm -hmm. you're reading, but, you know, your mind is working. And, yes. Yeah. And additionally, you know, you read and, you know, you, you find, you know, great words and, you know, it just expands your vocabulary, mm -hmm. right? So That yeah. is, yeah. Did you find yourself writing uh, these words down and then often referring to it? Yes, yeah. yeah. I, 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 got, I got a list of, you know, words, mm -hmm. yeah, that's like, oh, that's a, you know, good sounding word. I, I like right. it, yeah. You got to learn it more. Yeah, I got to learn it more. Oh, so you had you the gotta... flashcards. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. There was a way that I could uh, better sharpen my communication skills. Right. And to really know how to communicate effectively. Effectively, yeah. yes, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're going to continue our conversation with Brigadier General Roy Makaraeg after these short messages. Thank you again for joining us here on Pinoy Power Hawaii.
Aloha, I'm Jane Sawyer with the Small Business Administration and one of your hosts for Adventures in Small Business, a partnership with ThinkTech and with the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veterans Business Outreach Center, all serving small businesses in Hawaii and telling you the story about their strategies, their ideas, their drive, and the way they help Hawaii succeed and be a bright light in small business. You'll find it here every Thursday at ThinkTech. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you soon. Aloha. My name is Becky Sampson, and I'm the host of It's About Time. On the Think Tech Hawaii, a digital nonprofit organization that's raising public awareness. Join us on Wednesday at 2 p.m. where we talk about real issues. Some of the topics will include entrepreneurship, health, life skills, and growing your business. So once again, this is Becky Sampson on It's About Time on Wednesday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. And today we're having a very powerful conversation with a very influential, uh, deserving, hardworking young leader who have just earned the new rank, Brigadier General Roy Makareg. Welcome back to the second portion of our show. Yeah. Thank you so much for telling us about your upbringing, uh, the important uh, aspects in your life that groomed you uh, to be where you are, which prepared you for uh, this rank and this responsibility that you have as a Brigadier General. Uh, now, when we speak of those terms, uh, not too many people are familiar with uh, the ranks because it's different in uh, the Army, the Navy, and also the Air Force. Sure. Tell us just a little bit about uh, the, ranking the ranking and how you got there. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. um, well, let me summarize Without it. Bragging. Yeah, yeah, no, we're without bragging. Sharing. Yeah, yeah, I'm just sharing. <laughs> okay. So, um, actually, uh, I joined I join as, as a private, you know, mm -hmm. the lowest ranking. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So, private, private E1. Uh, work myself out, I guess, um, you know. Uh, Again, the reason why I wanted to join was because of you know the yeah, educational education. benefits. Yes. So I joined. I was enlisted for six years. Mm -hmm. um, I got. I, I I actually attained the rank of sergeant. So I was a sergeant at one point too. Oh, okay. Um, I went to uh, officer candidate school to mm -hmm. get my commission as mm -hmm. a second lieutenant, mm -hmm. and just worked my way through that. And um, you know, my goal was you know initially my goal was to be a major, you know, I thought it was a, you know, a uh -huh. great accomplishment if I attained major. A major. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I got to a point where, you know, I got promoted, I got promoted to captain, uh -huh. and major. Wow. Yes. And, and uh, it happened know, fast? It, it happened pretty quickly. Pretty quickly? Yeah. Because yeah. you're people, only 25, right? Yeah. <laughs> 27. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, along the way, I, I met, you know, I met all the, the gates at minimum time and grade, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, I was very fortunate that that I actually had the opportunities mm -hmm. um, because when I was a lieutenant, I had the opportunity to actually go out to Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. and start working with the National Guard Bureau mm -hmm. there in um, in a Pentagon, and uh, so I, you know, I got my start after my um, initial um, you know service as I enlisted and mm -hmm. as junior officer. I got a an opportunity to work in Washington DC and then wow. from there it just you know just open a whole yeah. uh, avenue a whole adventure for you yeah doors just kept uh -huh. opening and uh, you know I, I just kept you know kept at it and but I never forgot the mm -hmm. two things you know the foundational values mm -hmm. again the character you know that my my parents had actually instilled mm -hmm. in me mm -hmm. and also you know the, just the work ethic you know okay uh, I'm gonna ask you um, who sustains you in the most difficult time when uh, the parents are not around, the siblings are not around? Wh wh where do you derive that strength? Uh, this is from my wife mm -hmm. and my daughter. Okay. You know, my uh, wife, Benny, and uh, my da oh. daughter, uh, Chloe Ann. Yes. That's, yeah. that's really important in a family yes. life. But in terms of the sp spiritual, mm -hmm. uh, do you have uh, such a thing, uh, an ingrained belief? I yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm a Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, I do, you know, 
look to the Lord for guidance and um, you know I, mm -hmm. I pray okay and, uh, yeah I always have that connection spiritually that's awesome yeah. that you mentioned the power of, of God that yes. influences you well thank you for sharing that uh, let's get back to uh, your wife uh, when did the marriage uh, come in line with your career because some people can't uh, do both you know yeah. they, they, they focus on their career then they forget they get lopsided and forget about their uh, marital life yeah we got a pretty sh interesting story too uh -huh. so so my wife Benny mm -hmm. um, she she's actually my high school sweetheart oh so we've okay. been together um, since high school mm -hmm. so you know we graduated the same year in 1991 oh. okay. uh, Farrington High School mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so we stayed together through, you know, um, Honolulu Community College mm -hmm. and um, University of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I, you know, we moved to uh, Washington, D.C. in mm -hmm. 1999. Mm -hmm. And um, her career actually took off, too. Um, what does Benny do? She's, um, she graduated accounting. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so she, she counts the numbers for you? Yeah, she does. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> she, she's more of the numbers person. Uh -huh. So um, was, was she influential of you meeting the gates or uh, those uh, requirements for you to achieve your rank? Yeah, I think, I think you uh -huh. know, we just, you know, it, it's, a, it's a great partnership. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, you talk about like, you know, finding your soulmate. soulmate. Yeah. You found it in Benny. You, well, yeah, we, you know. Early on. Oh, we should know? write a book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> high, sc high school. <laughs> high school so she, she actually worked, you know, in Washington, D.C. She, she worked to in, uh, in the Pentagon. Wow. So she worked for uh, OSD, the Office of Secretary of Defense. So mm -hmm. she did, you know, a lot of work there in the Pentagon. She you know, was, uh, Roy, that's really, really important that uh, there's a saying that the family that uh, stays together, uh, prays together, plays together, will stay together forever. Yes. You, you believe in that concept? I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. That, that is so awesome that you're able to share your success uh, in line with your, your wife. And yeah. you have one daughter coming from a family of six. Yes. You just have one daughter? One, one daughter. Okay. When is the next one coming? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, yeah bakit I, isa lang yung anak mo? Uh, you know, sa Filipino family, di ba? Marami. Marami. Uh -oh. you know, yeah. uh, I think we're done. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. you're going to deprive your daughter from <laughs> having uh, siblings? No, or? look at it the other way. You know, we're going to give her. Give her all the love we can. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Always a positive light, you yes. know. Instead of uh, seeing things, uh, the glasses uh, half empty, yes. you present the half full idea. Yeah, she's which is great. You know, our daughter Chloe Ann. She's she's a joy. Uh huh. And um, yeah, early on we were so you know we were actually really focused you know on on our careers. So. Uh -huh. You know, we had her pretty late, so it was decision time, uh -huh. and um, you know, we're we're glad. You know, we're we're, we're at very least you're blessed fortunate. with one. Yeah, we are blessed, oh. truly blessed. Chloe, sweetie, yeah. you're, you're you're so lucky. Yeah. Uh, wonderful parents. Uh, now, uh, w what's in store for you with the remaining time that we have? What is it that you want to you, they hear of uh, Roy Macro Egg, just like Antonio Tagoba? When, yes. when they hear of that name, he's got his legacy in line. Yeah, uh, funny you, yours? funny you mentioned him. So he, um, he actually sent me an email. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I, 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 I've known him because he was in D.C. Mm -hmm. and um, you know we, you know I, I ran into him a few, you know, a few times as mm -hmm. a junior officer, uh -huh. and he congratulated me. So I, you know, I, I truly appreciate that. You know? So was he one of your role models? As far as adding to your yeah, I, motivation, I, I actually looked up to him. Uh -huh. you know, he's he's from Lilihua. Again, he was born in the Philippines. Yes, right. So Almost he was the same he, success was, story. he was he was an in, yeah. inspiration. So uh, judging from the stories that I have, I, I have another good good friend, little brother Edwin um, Parubrub. Yes, yeah, Chief also, Parubrub. Yes, yeah. I, I'm I'm so proud, man. I feel Pinoy pride all the way. <laughs> yeah, and I, I I'm just so proud that. Uh, we have someone like you that will carry on the light and tradition yeah. of uh, Pinoy pride, you yeah. know? So um, what is it that you can share to others that are um, aspiring to achieve uh, rank yeah. in the military? Well, first, I, you know, maraming salamat uh, to everybody. Uh -huh. uh, you know, in the last uh, couple of weeks, you know, it's been... Uh, 
you know, overwhelming a, an adventure. Yeah, uh -huh. so mm -hmm. you know, overwhelming. Um, you know, all the support from the Phil M community. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people would, you know, are, are so proud. And you know, I, you know, I go to places and, you know, places would just come up. It's like, hey, you're you're that, um, you know, Filipino American general, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I just want to congratulate. I'm I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think I think, you know, I'm I'm moving to you know the later part of my career mm -hmm. and uh, I want to actually you know start and I started doing it you know really mm -hmm. trying to give back to the, the younger people the next generation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sharing you know some of the you know some of the things I learned along the way mm -hmm. to um, you know it, it somehow teach them the way you know um, and mentor you know the next generation mm -hmm. so they can be successful. Right. You know? And I know that uh, your forum is education. Yes. That's one yeah. of the uh, key ingredient to your success. E education is one of them. Mm -hmm. But I think I, you know, I actually break it down into three things. Okay, tell us. So I'll tell people, I'll tell soldiers, I'll tell, you know, mm -hmm. young uh, officers, you mm -hmm. know, three things that you mm -hmm. can, you know, to be successful. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah. First, you, you just got to be, you know, a good person. Mm. I think just be a good person, mm -hmm. you know, in everything that you do. Yes. You know, just be a good person. Mm -hmm. um, you know, go out there and, uh, you know, make, make, make the people around you better. Mm -hmm. Right. Just just be a good person. Circle of influence. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the second thing is, you know, you need to make sure whatever you do mm -hmm. in life, you know, do your best. Mm -hmm. Just do your best, whatever you do, you know. If you're not gonna put your you know best effort, don't don't even do it, mm -hmm. right? So, um, in everything that you do, you do your best. And then wow. the last thing is take mm -hmm. care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you you gotta take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, me as a leader, you know, um, and, and leaders in general, they gotta take care of themselves mm -hmm. because if you can't take care of yourself, you know, educationally, financially, spiritually, mm -hmm. you know, all those things, right? How can how can you take care of you know other people? So those are the three things I, I tell people all the time. Wow. Well, uh, Brigadier General and uh, soon to be uh, General General, three star general. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and uh, for sharing those three things that uh, could make or break you. Uh, I appreciate the time that you have provided us uh, for us to uh, learn, to empower others. And uh, that is our main forum here. Uh, we call it Pinoy Pride, uh, not Pride Silet or Pride uh, Bangos and all that <laughs> yeah. stuff, but just being proud of who you are, doing your best, and uh, uh, bringing out the best in everyone. Uh, you carry them along and take them along for the ride yes. and not just leave them behind. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, General, for uh, empowering us. Yeah, thank th you for this, this moment. Th thank you, Ati Emi, for having me here. Awesome. I, I truly appreciate it. We could talk forever. Yeah, mabuhay. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> thank you so much for being with us uh, today for another empowering show uh, from Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emi Ortega Anderson, saying mahalo, mabuhay, maraming salamat po.